philosopher A.D. Jones, A. Hey, the world. All I got to say is the world. It's not what it was pre-mask. It's not even what it was during the mass. This revelation. I know you keep hearing it. I know you keep like ignoring it. I know you keep like you can't go back to the old world. Like this shit is over with. The mentalities ain't even old world no more. So it's impossible. The vibration is just not there. It's too many vibrations. I ain't gonna say too many. It's so many vibrations going on right now. They're colliding and separating at the same time. The way atoms and neutrons, electrons and stuff form new molecules is they crash. They crash against each other. They connect, disconnect. You know, they share electrons and things of that nature. That's what's happening right now. People are sharing electrons that are like vibrational. You know what I'm saying? And the people who used to be like vibrational, who used to share the same electrons and be on the same accord, that is now dissipated because one of the individuals has elevated to a different vibration so the electrons don't mesh like they used to. They don't share electrons no more. They have a new set of electrons that doesn't fit with the other individuals who vibrate at the old level or just at a different level. So that being said, I mean, it's the difference between somebody being 10 and 13. You're 10 years old, you playing, you still playing with dolls, with dudes, you still playing with cars, you might play games, you know, biking and stuff. But when you turn 13, it's all about girls. <laughs> it's all about different interests. And of course, if you're a girl, it's about boys and whatever you whatever you're like. You're interested in another person for other reasons outside of playing with toys. That's a better way to put it. So the vibration change. And 13-year-olds are probably not playing with little doll babies or whatever. Maybe with their little brothers and sisters or whatever. But that's what's happening right now. Then there's also the older vibrations that are now gone. That have now left the earth. The connections that they had are now gone because they're cut. And the children they, that they had might not connect with the people who they was cool with. So families are even switching. Family dynamics are different. It's like if you grew up real tight with your brothers and sisters and now y'all don't even talk. When the last time you talked to your brother or sister? Especially if you live out of town. I ain't talking about on social media. I'm talking about actually like, hi, what are you doing today? Or even face to face. And you live in the same city. Y'all used to share the same soap. Now y'all done blocked each other on social media. So that's what I'm saying. The whole dynamic has changed. And that's another thing. Social media has changed the brain. Which, well, I can't say what you don't realize, but it's much easier now to allow you to fall into response conditioning. You hear a ding, you, you stop literally. You could be talking to your kid. You hear that ding, you're going to probably scroll down to see who did it versus giving your child the undivided attention that they deserve so technically by you doing them like that when you talking to them and they hear a thing on their phone they scroll down too because that's what you do you know what i'm saying so that being said even the children have new dynamics that's why little babies could be one or two years old scrolling they just literally know how to do it because it's in their DNA and it's just a vibration. It's now a habit. It's now an inept ability that they're going to use the same way as eating, drinking, and using their right and left hand. They're going to scroll until the next thing comes. Well, what, what they got to do with anything? You probably ain't going to be able to relate to your kids in about 10 years if we still here. Because of the vibration has changed. Now, I don't want to get too deep, but to get a little deep, I will say this. Get yourself right. 
Get yourself right. You need to get that heart light. Get all that hate out your heart. Get all that bitterness out your heart. I'm not telling you what to do. It's just a suggestion. Gratitude. You need to show some gratitude toward the individuals that are assisting you in your ascension or assisting you with anything. How many missed thank yous do you have that you owe? How many thank yous do you owe, though? You probably owe Dan on a lot of thank yous. A lot of I appreciate it. A lot of, oh, man, I don't know what I would have did. Thank you. From your mama. She ain't got to do that. Thank your mama. And if your daddy around, thank him too. And if your daddy a bad person and he ain't around and you becoming a good person because he ain't around, thank him for that. <laughs> nah, but if he got struggles, you know it's not good to be around that vibration unless it's conducive to his ability to become better. Not saying that he messed up, but I'm just saying. It ain't even. It, it, I remember when guys back in the day used to go to jail to get a break from the streets because the jail was technically safer than the streets. Now, ain't no escape. My nigga, you can't escape the streets by going to jail no more. It's worse than jail now. You know what I mean? So, what are you going to do? What are you go, what's your family going to do? The, the female's standard is just different. The respect for the man is black man, I'm going to say, is not there like it should be. And they deserve that a lot of them based on what they have not done and what have not provided. But for those that have, we take the brunt and the energy from what the, I'm not downgrading my brothers, but I'm just saying where the brothers ain't been taking care of their business on, the people that's been taking care of their business as much as they can. I ain't gonna say everybody doing great. We all not doing great. But the best that they can to put the effort in. Some niggas, okay, the niggas that ain't putting no effort in. That's a better way to put it. The niggas that is putting the effort in get the blunt of that. Especially if the, the girl you with got a baby daddy that ain't putting the effort in. That come to you whether you know it or not. Or you at least got to deal with it. So technically you got a third party controlling your relationship. So are you really in a relationship or are you just <laughs> a third party in a situationship masked as a relationship? Because really they just need you to get over the person they had a real relationship with and they still really love them because they still in their heart. And you just might be a stepping stone or the settlement you got settled for. That's a real possibility, whether you a guy or a girl. What about everybody getting surgery and all of that? That's their priority and prerogative or whatever you want to say, but I don't understand. You already got meat on your body and bones in your body. Why do you want to add more meat and bones? Why do you want to look like everybody else? At this point, that stuff don't even look attractive no more. Like, as a man, just my opinion as a man, it's just like grass now. You see it everywhere. It's just like grass. You don't pay attention and say, oh, this blade of grass is this, and this blade of grass. Oh, look at no. And now it's like, oh, it's it's not even the person that don't got the surgery. That's when you be like, oh, oh, interesting. Guy or girl. I'm not discriminating. What is the point of this? The point is. Check yourself for your next vibration. Because you might even be stuck in the old vibration, which is cool if you ain't bothering nobody and you can maintain and do your thing. But if you having trouble with what's going on in society right now, meshing with people and stuff like that, in a sense it's good because you can isolate yourself and not be in contact with that negative vibrations. But you could also get left behind as well. The goal is to elevate. That's the goal. The goal is to elevate in whatever capacity that you in. So the next year you'll be better than this year. Because 2025, I keep telling y'all going to be a doozy. Y'all thinking body's dropping now. Ooh, doggy. Stay prayed up. Stay repented up. Encourage others to repent to get that heart light as a feather. Till next time. Philosopher A.D. Jones, the God creator. You heard me?